All right, y'all. Welcome back. What we're going to tie tonight, this is the crease fly. Uh, this is a saltwater or freshwater fly. Uh, it's a very effective topwater popper. Very easy to make. Uh, sometimes you can cut some time in tine. Uh, I pre-cut and uh, color the patterns in onto these. It's just white two millimeter foam. Uh, you can tie this in a large variety of hooks, size, uh, and color. Uh, what we got in the vice tonight, this is a light wire uh, 1X Predator. Thread that we're tying with today is a uh, white 400 denier and big fly. Doesn't matter what the thread is that you use, uh, it's all going to get covered up anyway. So if you got anything just laying around extra you want to get rid of, this is a good place to get rid of it. We'll talk about the materials as we go, or this fly will take forever. So we're going to start in the front. We're going to start building a good base of thread. It's going to give our two millimeter foam something to dig into, which you're going to want. We're going to work our way to the back. Come in and clean that out. For uh, the under part of the tail, we are going to use a little bit. For this color, I'm using a little bit of yellow bucktail. This is going to help keep the flash from fouling around the hook. The tail is going to be one and a half hook shanks long. So one about there is half. I'll hold that right on the top. Pinch and loop. Pinch and loop. And then bind it down real good. And try to keep that on the top. We don't want that rolling around. So you want to take good solid wraps and you're going to get a couple under it because these flies are definitely going to take a whole lot of abuse. I'm going to clean this part out. You don't have to be perfect. We're going to start running our stuff back to the front. For our flash, uh, we are using a blended uh, out of its gold, turquoise, and a yellow. Um, you want these flies to be extra flashy. So whatever color you're tying in, you want to use plenty of it. We're going to taper the ends of the flash just so we don't have any straight edges. We're going to put one off to the, the far side of the hook. We're going to catch that in. We're going to start working our way up. It's going to help add to that base. And we'll fold it back over itself. Taking touching turns back down again. Keep moving, moving the vice around the night. That's all the pressure I'm putting on it here. You can leave those kind of long. Um, I don't want them too much longer than my tail, so I'm going to come in and thin them out. Different angles, so there's like. Like I said, no straight lines. One more time back to the front. And that's all the time that we're going to do. Well, after it unspools a little bit. That'll happen sometimes with bigger thread. Like I said, you can prep this fly. Um, if I did this start to finish... Without any prep, this fly would probably be close to 20, 22 minutes to explain and make. I went ahead and prepped it tonight. Maybe I can get this on the third try. There we go. And tie that off. One will do it. We're going to put some super glue on here, so that's going to hold it down. Now, when you get ready to put your foam on, you're going to want to let the front hang over just a little bit out of the hook eye. That way it'll help keep the mouth of this fly open. And you want it to have a little bit of a reveal across the whole bottom. That'll let you hide the hook and give the foam something to stick to. So what I like to do is come in and measure it. Get it where I want it in the front. And press that in. Then I'm going to flip it over and do it on my side. Same thing. And what that'll do is that'll leave a groove 
and that'll help me line this up when I get ready to glue it on. We're gonna add some super glue to the whole yank of the hook. My dog's gonna start chasing shit in his sleep. We're gonna come in with our body. Try not to glue yourself to the hook. I'm gonna roll this over a little bit so I can see what's going on. That way we get it right. Now, once that's there, we don't want to catch the tail, but we need to bend this all the way over to where it starts to touch itself. I'm going to rotate our vise over. Give it a little pinch. Try not to catch your tail. You don't want to Super glue your tail down, you want that to be able to move. Get everything set where you like it. It looks pretty good. Then we're gonna come in with a set of 3 16 uh, Mirage Eyes. You can use whatever size or color you want. And when I color these up, I try to put a set of eyes on there that I'm going to throw away or a piece of tape or something. That way I got a piece of good foam to super glue these eyes to. We don't want them coming off. We're going to coat the whole fly anyway, so it's really not going to go anywhere. You don't have to put eyes on this if you don't want to. There we go my side and when you coat this you can coat it with um, two-part epoxy I'd like to use five-minute epoxy uh, the non yellowing uh, that way when it sets up and you fish it a little bit it it doesn't change colors on you these aren't gonna last forever anyway they're gonna take a lot of abuse so I don't put a whole lot of time into coating it uh, but for video purposes of this one uh, we're going to use some UV cure tonight make sure those are on there we're going to come in with our cure even though I use this cure what I'll end up doing is putting this on the turner and letting it run while it sits out in the sun or up in a windowsill or something along that lines that way it'll set up extra hard. I'll use the lot just enough to get it to start setting and then we'll let the sun do the rest. But for the two part epoxy, once once it's going on the turner, I usually do those on the weekends where I can be around and don't have to worry about it. But with this, you could set it and let it finish curing out in the sun and not worry about it. This is the most tedious part. We wanna get everything covered. You don't have to put epoxy or anything on these. You can, you can fish them uh, just a regular solid color. There's another way you can tie these in with um, some piping. You'll stretch it over the body. I do that sometimes too. And it looks really good. But if you're just trying to get you a couple good top water poppers for uh, the springtime, you don't want to fool with them a whole lot, but you still want to catch fish, this is the way to go. Just a little bit more here. Pull this over into the bottom. Now, if you can see all the way through this, don't worry about it. Um, 
Don't worry about getting water or nothing in there. It's going to be just fine. I got two of these that have been sitting in a cup of water for going on two weeks and they've not gone anywhere. They're still floating and it's a heavier hook. I uh, was doing a little experimentation to see how long it would uh, actually stay afloat. I thought it'd be a couple hours, but it's it's been days. Try to keep the epoxy out of your tail. And then before you set it, you're gonna wanna spin your stuff around just a little bit. Let some of that run. Just start setting it. Just enough to keep it from running. Then we're gonna stick this on the turner and we'll let the sun do the rest. And that's it, that's the crease fly. Yeah, tie some of these up, show them to your friends. They're definitely gonna take some good top water strikes and, and fish for you. Um, if you hadn't already subscribed, go uh, click the subscribe button. That way you guys see everything that we post. Hope you guys enjoy it. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And if there's anything you guys ever want to see, just leave it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. If there's any questions you have about this fly, just let me know. Be glad to answer it. And until next time.